Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Olga is here. For those of you who haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the bell as well to get the latest notifications about the videos I post out there for you guys. And for those who are subscribed, thank you very much guys. You are keeping me motivated to be making more videos for you. I appreciate that. And today's video is going to be about the collaboration of Machino and Sephora and this is what they have come up with. This bear and the other pieces of collection actually came out, I want to say about late spring or summer. The reason I didn't get my hands on it is because for some reason Sephora stocked, maybe not enough, maybe just sold out real quick and I didn't get a chance to get my hands on it. So just a couple of weeks ago, Sephora had briefly restocked Machino and I must have ordered it from before so I guess I got notified and this is how I got it. So <laughs> many, many more months later I got my hands on this. I did not get other pieces from the collection because they just didn't speak to me and I didn't want to get stuff that I already have just because it's Machino Bear. But I am going to give you all the specs on these eyeshadows and we're going to do the swatches and after that we're going to create a look. First of all, this is the unicarton that it comes in. I have already removed the bear. The Machino Bear eyeshadow palette, uh, this is in collaboration of Machino with Sephora. This palette contains 21 shadows. It has has mel it has matte eyeshadows and shimmers. Each eyeshadow contains a 0.81 grams per eyeshadow. These eyeshadows are made in the United States. The shelf life of the product is 24 months. Jeremy Scott is the creative director of Machino since 2013. They have collaborated with Sephora and come out with their own collection. They are very beautiful. Um, so the top area right here is the mirror. It actually fits nicely into the hand. I have relatively small hands, so if you have bigger hands, you probably would find this even easier to hold. So this is a nice size. It is a beautiful, beautiful, unusual packaging. I mean, I've never ever seen anything like this before. As usual for my swatches, I have primed my arm with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, at first you see the finger swatch, then you see the brush swatch. I treat every eyeshadow palette the same in the same manner. <laughs> The swatches actually have performed really nicely. I was pleasantly surprised. Normally some of the very fair colors do not swatch on me real well. This time everything swatched pretty much beautifully. There are a couple of duds in there, 
but which palette doesn't have them? I mean, there could be one or two shadows that just don't work for a particular skin tone or they just don't translate the same. But majority of the eyeshadows have translated beautifully onto the skin. I'm going to go in with this um, Real Techniques of base shadow brush and I will put the color Adore all over my eyelid for my transition shade. With Wayne Goss number six, I'm going into the shadow Barely Bare and I am tucking this a little bit above my crease. With the same Wayne Goss number no. 6, I'm going to go into the Twilight Blue and I'm going to tuck it into my crease. And I'm also going to kind of start putting it into the inner corner of the eye as well as into the outer corner. I'm going to go in right now with my Giordana pencil in darker blue and I will outline the lower lid but only going to the middle portion and then stopping right there. With Wayne Goss number no. 5 I'm going to go in into the deep C color. I will diffuse this area that I had outlined with the Giordana pencil and again going just to the mid portion of the eyelid. With this Ardell pencil in white, I'm going to go in and outline the inner portion of the eye, uh, lower eyelid. With Wayne Goss number no. 5, going into the color Angel Wings and diffusing this lower eyelid. Uh, with Wayne Goss number no. 4, going into the deep C and deepening the upper crease. and connecting in the outer corner. With the trusted Too Faced Glitter Glue, going to pack some of that onto the inner portion of the lid. With Wayne Goss number no. 6, going into the Angel Wings and packing that color onto the inner portion that we have prepped with the glitter glue. I'm going to use the Sweat and Wild highlighter and highlight the brow bone as well as the inner eyelid. Ray Morris um, brush. For that, I don't remember its number at the moment. I'm going to attach that information. Okay, so this look is now a complete and I am ready to deliver my final words and verdict. So, the Machino Bear eyeshadow palette is Olga Gaffi approved and I will explain to you why. I actually did not I did not expect much of these eyeshadows. I will be completely honest with you to say that even though they look pretty in the pan, I did not think that, for instance, this one, the transition shade would look good on me and I didn't think that these blues ones would really look as good as they look in the pan. However, I was proven wrong because I have swatched them and they have translated beautifully during the swatches. They also look true to themselves on the eyelids. The This one particularly is a beautiful color. It's a little bit patchy so you kind of have to work it a little bit longer to blend it better so the blendability on this one seems to be a little bit more challenging however it is manageable these purples on the swatches looked great overall I am very happy with the eyeshadows not to mention that the presentation of them now I will say this do you need to have these eyeshadows if you already have these colors no absolutely not this is absolutely optional nobody needs this if you already have these shadows, 
like I said, we've seen these eyeshadows before. Sephora has them in its own different other palettes. There are other brands who have the same eyeshadows. You don't have to have these particular eyeshadows. You can if you're a collector. If you're a makeup artist, though, I don't think this is a practical palette for you because you wouldn't be able to necessarily carry that around in your kit. It is not practical. I could pretty much see you depotting them if you can and carrying them individually or something like that or you'd probably already have all of these as dupes in other palettes and thus you wouldn't benefit. I think this is more like a collector piece. I think if you are a fan of Machino, which they are crazy expensive brand, I looked at some of their t-shirts are like <laughs> $300 and over, I mean they're crazy expensive, but if you're a fan of Machino, you probably want to get your hands on it or you have already and the reason I reviewed it is because because these are eyeshadows. I'm not going to do this and pretend that they do not exist. So I did order them, I reviewed them as the product. It is good quality, so that's why it got approved. But practicality of it, it's not really there. I just think it will look beautiful on a vanity. Am I going to reach for these eyeshadows? Probably, maybe, maybe not, depending on the ease. You see, I can't really store it inside of the vanity. I can't really put it together with other eyeshadows, so it's gonna get displayed. So in that regard, because I will see it out on the vanity or on my nightstand, I will use it because I'll see it, but it's not that easy to store it together because this, this is not a book. It's literally looks like a toy, looks like a bear. I'm a little bit sad that Sephora doesn't have it available right now because it kind of seemed like it was there for a very brief time in May or June and then whoosh it disappears and then again in December when I got it and then whoosh it disappears. So I hope Sephora will bring it back for those who love Machino or this particular eyeshadow. I, however, do not know because this is a limited time and this is a limited edition, so whether or not they're gonna bring it back or not, I have no idea. I still wanted to review it even though it's not available for purchase right now because I thought maybe uh, some of you guys or somebody out there has it. Or if you don't have it, you probably have been wondering about them to see the, how is the quality, so I wanted to kind of deliver that information to you guys. Like I said, it's beautiful, but there is nothing super duper special. You can find these dupes all over Sephora and in other brands and in drugstore. So if you didn't buy it, I don't want you to feel heartbroken. It's it's nice and cute, but that's about it. Anyways, guys, please let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Do you like something like this? Do you want to see things like that being reviewed? What is it that you want me to review? Uh, what kind of eyeshadows, brands, or anything? Uh, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be. My passion is in eyeshadows, but if you want me to review blushes, if you want me to review bronzers, um, if you want me to give you like makeup tips and advice, I'm more than happy to do it for you. Hey, I'm here for you because I love and I'm passionate about makeup and stuff. So do let me know guys and I'll see you all in my next video. I love you. Bye!